What is up my nerds bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and some of the maps that we actually got to see in the alpha of course there will probably be maybe one or two more of maps in the beta once we go on to the beta and hopefully there is. Now, of course, in the alpha, we only saw a few maps. Now, the first one we'll talk about is Armada. And what we saw on this map was it was a domination. It was, I think it was 12v12. Now, this map is basically, all it is, is just three boats in the middle of an ocean, which sounds really, really cool. And it kind of gives vibes of Raid, where you had this big, massive yacht and you were fighting on it. Of course now you have three different boats that you're actually fighting on so it's like raid by tree or something like that if you want to say that or else it's just like the world war 2 map i actually can't remember what the map was because that game was just so bad basically it was just it's just shockingly bad but it does sound really fun and it sounds really cool as well now 12 versus 12 domination is not ground war and on the map we actually saw five flags this map also had zip lines to get to different ships and other places there were also mini guns on the boats and this was pretty interesting like i said in the previous video that i did there were also turrets set up in your spawn that seemed really really overpowered like you could see some of them taking down score streaks and they just they just ripped through them like there was no tomorrow it was absolutely crazy the next map we'll talk about is satellite and on this map the whole live stream was shown off kill confirmed now this is actually set in angola south africa it seems to be kind of a small map and it seems to be a six versus six now what i will say about this map is we did see it in the trailer in the multiplayer reveal trailer as well and it seemed like there was doom buggies and everything like that so this could potentially be a war zone section of the map or it could easily be a big ground war map for the likes of 12 versus 12 or it could easily just be a massive ground war map as of now we're not really sure what it's going to be but satellite very close quarters kind of map uh, it's outside just in caves and everything like that think of a zero cave but just say that it's 10 times better because it's made by Treyarch and it just seems so much better. And it's surrounded by, or it's in a down satellite as well. So there are satellite parts everywhere. And it looks really, really cool. It kind of gives you the feel, or the feel that I got anyway when I was watching it, was the Black Ops 2 map. I think it was called Turbine. And that was a very, very good map as well. So... Hopefully this map will be good. Lots of YouTubers, content creators, Twitch streamers and everything like that were all saying how good this map was.
Another map that we saw in the Black Ops Cold War reveal multiplayer is Moscow. Now this seems to be kind of lots of indoor gunfights and engagements. Of course there is parts of it that are outside but 90% of the map seems like it's indoors which doesn't seem half bad. Speaking of indoors, just the doors part, there are no doors which is just fantastic news. Now this map seems to be a fast pace map which is good comparing some of these maps to the modern warfare maps and the game mode that we actually got to see on this was control which is returning from black ops 4 which was incredibly good game mode in that game and personally i think that should have been in modern warfare to kind of speed up the game and everything like that but this game mode very very good to have it back Finally then we had was Crossroads. Now this map had both tanks and snowmobiles on it. And the tanks, like I said before, seem like they're really, really overpowered from what I could see. Now of course this could easily change. And on this map or even on most of the maps, I feel personally kind of the quote unquote ground war maps or anything that was played on 12 versus 12, like the domination you should be able to pick a flag to spawn on if it is your flag so if you have a c and say d you should be able to spawn on one of those three of course you can do that in battlefield if they took that kind of mechanic from battlefield or that feature from battlefield and brought it over to cod it would work amazingly good as well and squad spawning would be kind of a good thing for this game mode as well because It'll be great to be able to spawn on your teammate who is probably in danger or is being shot at or something like that. Or is near a flag and wants help to capture it. In the video guys, I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button. Right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to the channel. Beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload a YouTube video. Or whenever I go live on my youtube channel which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream weekly on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on my twitch channel i also have a twitter account that i manually update update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my twitch channel link to that will be down in the description below as well and yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite subscribe and peace